Hello friends, today we are go going to see how to create a web service using service palette in TIPCO. So for creating web service in TIPCO, first and foremost we need to create a WSDL. And uh, as we know what is WSDL, WSDL is web services description language. And uh, for creating web, uh, web service in TIPCO, first we need to create abstract WSDL. And then we should transform to concrete WSDL. And then we should use this WSDL to generate our service. So let's start. Let's have everything in a structure. Since Wizzle will be a resource for our process, we are going to keep it under a folder resources. Inside resource, let's have a folder Wizzle. Here, right click and select add resources, go to Wizzle and select Wizzle. Here, just rename it the visual name. Uh, go inside this again for a visual contains mainly a message and the operation. So let's add the messages. Let's let it be an input message or just input then an output message and then at last operation which will be there inside port type now we have added our messages but it needs to be referred to a particular schema so for doing this first we need to create a schema so let's create schema first let's keep this also inside a folder Let's have it as a request schema. Let's have a schema for response as well. Inside request schema, I uh, just double click this and we will come inside this. Let's add here the just you can have it as request and choose the content type as elements. And what all elements you need inside this, you can mention them. Let's have it as employee id and if you need a registration number as well we can have let's make this registration number as optional so just click on the optional palette and just apply it again select the globally defined and we have our schema request schema ready here now let's take our response schema let's rename it to as response to have better understanding go inside this same thing here you can have employee details content type as elements and I need let's add the customer limit employee name location so we can add common we can add different fields domain and the project name let's keep everything else other than name and uh, project as optional just by clicking the optional button and just click apply again create globally defined so now we have our schema ready for both request and response so let's go to visual again here we have 
our input message there we can define now since our schema is ready we can add our schema here we can refer our schema here so let's name it as employee details request here this is string uh, but we since we have our own schema defined already we'll go to xml type reference select the schema from here since it's request schema since we have should uh, the radio button type is checked it is not referring so click element click element and after that go to resource schemas then click request for seeing your selection is proper you can click tree here since we have selected employee id it is showing employee id we should but we should select request so let's refer this again so we have got set a request element similarly we'll select the response schema as well let's remove employee details employee details response and again it's an element schema response employee details okay so we have added our uh, response schema as well now we will go inside for type operation here we need to link both the request and the response so here we should add just click the plus button and add independent output refer the input message which we have defined and similarly for response refer the response So now we have created our input message, output message, and then linked with the same with the operation. Now we have our abstract visual ready. Now for making this a concrete visual, we need to provide the binding information and transport details. So for that we need to create a connection first. So let's have a since we are going to make a web service using HTTP service. So let's have a HTTP connection created first. Let's keep this inside folder connections. Here again, right click HTTP connection, define 8080, apply, save. Now for creating a concrete visual, just click right click here, go to tools or multi users generate web service from visual when you do that here a transport and location will be asked this is this is the difference between abstract and concrete visual so you can just click generate it is automatically referring to the connection which we have created and if you see a port type operation process and employee service service palette has been generated automatically now just this is the process which is referring our visual messages if you refer you see here our messages our, whatever message we have defined is referred in the start input and in end as output by tipco itself now whatever process we have to define we can define between these two let's uh, have a mapper a simple mapper just our main purpose was to create a learn how to create a web service so we are just defining creating one uh, business logic where we will put a condition to get the fetch the details of employee using the employee id so let's refer the schema which we have created for uh, output response here employee details okay apply save it go to input you see here the schema the detail employee detail schema is created here now we can have a condition here just let's have two conditions when employee details request employee id is equal to
equal to one. Let's name the employee as Ashish location Allahabad domain telecom project Delia Sonera and similarly when the employee ID is two let's have the name as Ajju Ajju Location Port Blair Domain Insurance Project Vitality Health and in case it's uh, unknown ID which we have received, let's throw an error as unknown employee ID. received ID is invalid so we have our business logic ready now let's see what is the inside service palette if you go inside service it is referring to the our main operation that is if you see it is port type operation it is the same name which is our process defined here so let's gen save the concrete visual as since if you remember i told initially the difference between abstract and concrete visual is the missing of the transportation transport information that we have added now so let's generate our concrete visual just click visual source go to save visual then just your location where you have thought of saving this here we let's create a separate folder called concrete inside this let's save our visual as employee services so our concrete visual is ready just go to the main root folder and just refresh it and see that whether we have caught our concrete visual yes we have now this the let's test the process we have let's create a folder for test stub let's go inside this add a resource process definition make it as test stub inside this let's add a palette soap request reply so that it can consume the service which we have exposed let's refer here the concrete visual which we have created and if you see automatically everything is popped up all the details just go to input here you see here you, are, you can just give any id for this purpose let's give as one and transport details is already it has taken from the since the concrete visual has been loaded it, is, it has already taken the trans, sorry, transportation details so let's check our process is properly defined everything we have made. so we have to map the output of this to our res response visual response the web service response which we are expecting for the particular employee ID. so this ready now let's test our process select our web service and the test sub and if you see we are getting the response so this is done we are 